I've been a teacher for last 27 years and I always tell my students that if you don't get into a habit of reading, reading is the most, most, most important skill in acquiring your English language and achieving proficiency in this language. Uh, writing skills, reading skills, the reading is, the, 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 the part of reading is so important, is so important. If you don't read, you will not be able to have a good vocabulary. Many students think that they can buy dictionaries and they can go through dictionaries and they can uh, memorize some words and they can create their own vocabulary. It doesn't work like that. You need to read. Read whatever comes your way. Read newspapers, read magazines, read, read, read books on geography, sociology, read books on, on poetry, read books on drama, or fiction, whatever interests you, on gardening, on music, on, on, on anything, anything, art and craft, painting, history, psychology, philosophy. The more you read, the more you read, you will, the better you will be in English. You have to be a voracious reader. You should be uh, having a target that every fortnight or every week or every 10 days, you will finish one book. You need to read and you need to read on various different topics, different subjects. So the more you read, the better you will be in English. The more, see, it is all about input and output. You know, reading is a form of input. So through your eyes, through the visual senses, you are inputting. At the end of the day, at the end, and some part of your life, when you grow up, I started reading when I was in school. I read through college and university. And uh, mind you, I never used to speak in English. I used to always speak in Hindi. But after my post-graduation, when I became a teacher and I had to teach my students, automatically, and I surprised myself by uh, speaking uh, uh, by speaking in English for so many hours at a stretch. And then I used to wonder, uh, uh, where are these words coming from? Where, where, is, where are all these sentences coming from? Where are all these paragraphs coming from? And then I realized, I was at the age of 23, 24, that, and then I started telling people about uh, this habit of reading, that it was all the work that I had put in uh, into books, reading books and reading a variety of books. Don't, don't get into this thing that only the textbooks have to be uh, read or the uh, books which have been prescribed by the syllabus or the, your board, your university, college, you should be reading only those books. No, 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 no. You can't have a flair for your English language till you don't read a variety of books and read them voracious and especially read fiction because it helps you think in English. It helps you think in English. So um, there is a lot to say on this, but I'm just trying to put it in very simple words that please start reading, read, become a voracious reader. And uh, once you do that, you uh, gradually get that confidence and you will become very good in all the English language skills. Happy reading.